voy a ir a la hierro, a la que me suscito, a la que me yo soy la punta de camis, a la que me suscito, 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 a la que me We consider three types of, of learning, as I was uh, telling, the formal learning, the non-formal learning, and the informal learning. Uh, the informal learning is um, is the learning we acquire through our lives. For example, a person uh, searching a topic on the internet, a specific topic on the internet and reading about them, it's a formal learning. Um, in comparison with formal and informal learning, uh, informal learning is uh, never recognized. Uh, but informal learning is still important because it enhances employability as this type of knowledge uh, is such as uh, knowing how to do a presentation or negotiation skills. Uh, it also improves working conditions and uh, it makes skills and talent visible to organizations. Uh, inside the trial project, uh, there's an informal learning collector who is in charge of uh, gather or informal learning activities and users undertakes and there are uh, three mechanisms for doing that that are uh, divided into push mechanisms and pull mechanisms. In push mechanisms, we have uh, a manual method for entering data and also a bookmarklet which is started in, in the browser of the user and allows them to click and send uh, the activities. And also there are uh, pull mechanisms that it's basically a set of uh, web services. In the push mechanism, we see that the user is who initiates the entry data, while in the push, it's the application who notifies the user that have pending informal learning activities to be sent to the collector. Uh, we found some problems regarding the um, push mechanisms that are that um, it changes the context of the it changes the, there's a change of work context of the person that uh, in that aspect the uh, user said that uh, it was annoying using the tool because it was disturb, disturbing the uh, working activity the current work, working activity and they also were willing uh, to have more mechanisms for entering the data such mechanisms. Uh, they asked for um, methods for uh, extracting data from other applications and send later to the informal learning collector. So, uh, uh, so we proposed uh, we consider a pull mechanism for doing uh, for extracting data from other applications and sending it to the informal learning collector. But uh, in the first phase of the design. Um, we have to consider some aspects of design. The first one is uh, which applications are we going to consider as data providers for informal learning collectors? Or um, a set of applications? Well, another is uh, which data from external application is relevant as informal learning applications? Uh, sorry, informal learning activities. Another question is which is the granularity or the level detail from the data that we are going to recollect? And finally, how we are going to match data from an application to the informal learning collector? Well, we did a case, uh, the pocket, uh, with pocket application, pocket is formally related later, and it's an application for managing our reading list of uh, articles from the internet. Uh, well, it allows saving articles, videos, images, tag and search them. Um, we consider, the, des the design questions, we consider that Pocket uh, will be a first pilot 
the external data we are going to recollect, to simplify things, we recollect the title, URL, and tags. And uh, we did not additional relational simplification to simplify our, our case. And uh, the matching data is identical. Pocket title is uh, informal data collector title, and so on. Well, this is a screenshot of our application. We uh, integrated the pocket case into the informal learning collector. And when the user enters, it has a list of pocket items. And he can um, select and send them automatically to the informal learning collector. Uh, we run the project during some weeks and uh, we ask the users to send informal learning activities through all, uh, all methods. The push methods, manual input markets, and the input methods we developed with the pocket. Uh, later, we ask them their perception about the new, the new mechanism and we see that the user's rating is high and they told us also that it was less disrupting in comparison with the other methods, the book market and the manually. Uh, they also found that uh, it was a good improvement to have such a mechanism and that was well less tedious and disrupting. Uh, finally, our cons conclusions are that uh, the trial project facilitates um, the identification of informal learning activities. Uh, but we have seen that it could be improved in, by means of usability. Um, this new mechanism is useful because it lightens uh, the task for entering conformal learning activities, but uh, does not resolve problems regarding about uh, informal learning activities. So it opens new lines of, of research. Uh, for example, um, it should be studied uh, with, with external applications can be uh, providers for informal learning activities. Uh, uh, also, every application stores data in different ways with different detail labels, and we have to study also how uh, to recover this information and with which granularity. So that's all. Thank you very much.